This will be a proof of the triangle angle bisector theorem. Now, what the triangle angle bisector theorem says is that if you have a triangle, I'll just call this triangle ABC, and we consider one of the angle bisectors. So I'll draw in the angle bisector of A. And it intersects B, C at this point D. Then the triangle angle bisector theorem says that this angle bisector cuts the side BC proportionally to the other sides AB and AC. Uh, specifically AB over AC is equal to BD over DC. So we can use this, uh, this theorem in the following way. If this is equal to, I don't know, 6 and this is 5 and this is 2 and this is x or something, you can say that 6 uh, over 5 is equal to 2 over x. And then you can solve this proportion. You would find that 6x is equal to 10. Divide both sides by 6 to find that x is uh, 5 thirds. Yeah, so that's how the theorem works. Uh, this will be a proof for it. The proof is kind of cool. I like it. It's not very intuitive, at least to me it's not. So let's, let's look at our triangle again. This will be my triangle ABC. And again, we'll look at our angle bisector. And that'll be our point D. Okay. So what we do is we think about extending AB a bit further. And then constructing the parallel through C uh, parallel to AD. Okay, so this is kind of a bad triangle. Yeah. So let's call this point, oh, I don't know, E. That's point E. Now, this is parallel to AD. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's look at these two parallel lines, AD and EC, cut by the transversal AC. Then, by the alternate interior angle theorem, angle ACE is congruent to angle DAC. I've got these two parallel lines here cut by this transversal. Moreover, consider those two parallel lines again cut by the transversal uh, BE. And we see that angle AEC is congruent to angle DAC because of the corresponding angle postulate. Now we see that triangle AEC is isosceles. Uh, we have these two base angles congruent, and so triangle AEC is isosceles, and that's by the converse to the base angle theorem, or the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem, I guess depending on your textbooks. We know that AE is congruent to EC. Except if we consider triangle BEC, we can see that AD is parallel to EC, and so we have, by the side splitter theorem, or the crossbar theorem, we have that AB over AE is equal to BD over DC. And that's by the side splitter theorem, or the crossbar theorem, which states that if you have a line that uh, intersects a triangle parallel to one of the sides, AD, intersects triangle EBC parallel to the side EC, then it cuts those two sides proportionally. And so uh, AB over AE is BD over DC. Except we just decided that triangle ACE is isosceles, and so AE, this length here, is equal to AC. And so I can make that substitution here. So I can say, ah, well, AE is just AC, 
Therefore, AB over AC is equal to BD over DC. Well, that's exactly what I was trying to show, that AB over AC, the ratio of these two sides of the triangle, is equal to the ratio of BD over DC, those segments where that third side was cut. And so we see that the triangle angle bisector theorem holds. Okay, so maybe one more example just to drive, just to drive this point home. If we have some triangle, uh, maybe we can just make up some side lengths, it doesn't really matter, uh, 10, 7, and 5, say. And maybe this is triangle ABC. If we, if we cut angle A, if we bisect angle A, then we know that BC is cut proportionally to AB and AC. So for instance, if this is the point D, we can find the length of BD and DC. Let's start by calling this length x, then dc is got to be 5 minus x since the whole length there was 5. And so I can write this proportion that 7 over 10 is x over 5 minus x. And so now I can just cross multiply to find that 10x is equal to 35 minus 7x. So we add 7 to both sides and we find that 17x is equal to 35 and so x is equal to 35 seventeenths. And so this length, this length right here is actually uh, 35 seventeenths. seventeenths. And so uh, to find dc, dc is just 5 minus 35 seventeenths. So you can find dc, find a common denominator and do that subtraction, and that, that will get you the length of dc. So this is how you use uh, the triangle angle bisector theorem. Uh, good luck to you.